Welcome to Monday. It's June 9th, 2025. Your day with the podcast brought to you by ConverseCountyTourism.com. Feel the energy of Converse County. Explore Douglas's Railroad Heritage, Ayers Natural Bridge, and the Jackalope Legend, Glen Rock Bow, Scenic Trails, Dinosaur History, and Small Town Charm. Plan your visit at ConverseCountyTourism.com. Well, compared to last week, in many areas, it'll be looking a little bit more like summer, like the sunshine beaming down on the bison there with somebody riding along the back, getting a free ride. What we're going to see is high pressure building in. It's been in the west, far west, for quite a while, but it's going to creep a little bit further east into the Rockies into the adjacent high plains. So what we're going to see is overall a drier, warmer pattern like what we saw all over the weekend. Now what we're going to see is still some moisture in the southern plains and southern Rockies causing some showers and thunderstorms down there. As the week progresses though, the high pressure ridge gets a little dirty, little disturbances come through and with the warmer temperatures and those disturbances and a little bit of moisture, you're going to have a regular pattern of afternoon and evening thunderstorms, mainly Wednesday through Sunday and mainly east of the divide. For you folks on the western slope, west of the Continental Divide, the moisture will be lacking. So the thunderstorms are going to be a lot more spotty if you're west of the divide. If you're along the front range, out on into the plains, we're going to just get into what I'd call your, your regular thunderstorm cycle that you'll get during the periods of summer. And that's exactly what we're going to see as we go through the middle of the week, right up into and through the weekend. Some of that moisture you can see in the Sierra late last week with those showers and thunderstorms. And then, boy, we've got some beautiful sunrise and sunset photos to pass along. As the skies cleared a little bit, we got more sunshine, just beautiful cloudscapes uh, on the beautiful landscape shot there. And another one here from sundown this past Friday night after another round of showers and thunderstorms went through southeastern Wyoming. And with a podcast later this week, we'll examine the amounts of rain that have fallen over the last six weeks in parts of the western United States that really have helped a lot. Another beautiful shot there from Glen Rock, Wyoming and from Kurt Gowdy State Park between Laramie and Cheyenne. Look, the water's barely moving. That doesn't happen very often at Kurt Gowdy State Park. That's really nice to see. But with this weather, we've had a lot of severe weather. Boy, a lot of severe weather. Uh, this one from Blue Mound, Kansas. Texas, Oklahoma, uh, New Mexico over the last several days is battered with tornadoes, big hail and powerful winds. But at the same time, with the high pressure squeaking in from the west, conditions settled down a little bit over the weekend. But we're going to see cloud build up like this shot from late last week near Lander building up over the Wind River Mountains. Once we get to the middle to the end of the week, we'll see more scenes like this beautiful shot there of a building thunderstorm eventually becoming a thunderstorm there north of Fort Collins last Friday. Satellite photos this morning show a lot of the story of what's going on. We see the blue clouds, the blue, they're not blue clouds, but they're showing up blue on the satellite because we have low stratus clouds around a deep area of low pressure that's in the upper Midwest. It's pretty strong for June. This is the front that kind of sideswiped parts of the Dakotas, Montana and eastern Wyoming Sunday with some low clouds and a little bit of shower activity and a bit of a cool down. That system got a bit stronger than expected, but now it's pushing eastward. So you can see the clear skies now developing in the inner mountain west. This trough causing a lot of showers and thunderstorms down here. Going to be a lot of severe weather today in that part of the country. Taking a quick look at the tropics, we've got two more tropical storms that have formed in the eastern Pacific. Uh, these probably are going to stay tropical storms, but it's this is the third one. Now, you notice we're on the seas. We had Alvin, Barbara. Now we have the next one here. And so we'll see as uh, the week goes on if any of this moisture works its way up into here. We're not expecting that, but we'll keep an eye on it. So far, the tropical season in the Atlantic has been much more quiet. Interesting point about the Atlantic, and we'll bring this up in a future podcast, is that the sea surface temperatures out here in the breeding ground regions of the Atlantic are one to two degrees Celsius cooler than they were a year ago. So that's probably going to impact the hurricane season. Doesn't mean there won't be one, but the sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic are a lot different than they were a year ago. So there you can see the 500 millibar low pretty robust for June 9th. 
there in the northern Great Lakes and northern plains. So northwest flow will keep the nation's midsection and east a bit on the cool side. The high pressure building in the west. As the week wears on, things kind of flatten out. The flow kind of goes west to east. We don't have the strong ridge formation. This is what I mean about the dirty ridge. We've got little disturbances coming through in a west to east flow. This west to east flow is gonna be bringing these disturbances in and giving us seasonal temperatures. When the wind flow generally moves west to east across North America, your temperatures are gonna end up close to average. And so that's where we're gonna see. So we're gonna see temperatures warming up getting warmer but nothing that's going to be sizzling hot summer weather really anywhere temperatures like this are going to be warmest west of the divide as they have been but look at the coolness this is for the next five days a lot of the nation a lot of canada will be cooler than average for another week in june the heat is in the west and it will be bottled up there now as we look at the next two days we talked about there's going to be more stormy weather down here and there will be today and tomorrow. But for today and Tuesday, across the Intermountain West, there's some isolated showers and thunderstorms that are gonna pop up, mainly over the higher terrain. Most of these showers and thunderstorms you see here are gonna be tomorrow. As we get to the middle to the end of the week though, things begin to shift. So for today, this is where the severe weather threat's gonna be across the nation, in the dark green and yellow areas. Tomorrow, the thunderstorms get a little bit more prominent, get a little bit more widespread. Look at New Mexico, West Texas here. That's where the activity is going to be the more robust. And you can see that's where there's going to be the risk of severe weather tomorrow. As we go further into the week, though, we're going to see moisture expand and move eastward. By the weekend, high pressure begins to build in. So later in the week, in the weekend, summer temperatures, let's say getting real summer-like. As we get into Friday and the weekend, this high pressure ridge nudges north and, north and eastward a bit. And so what'll happen is we'll get warm across the Intermountain West, summer-like warm by the weekend. So kind of average week of temperatures, a bit below average in the east, warmer in the west, then everybody gets a bit warmer by the weekend. As we step you through the middle to the end of the week, this is what we mean about thunderstorm activity picking up. So on Wednesday, you'll see a, a common pattern here. These are where the showers and thunderstorms are going to be, where you see the brighter colors. Thursday looks like this. They shift a little bit east, and Friday they back up against the front range again. And for Saturday and Sunday, what you see here on Friday is going to be exactly the same for the weekend. And if you notice, there's a bias of the showers and thunderstorms wanting to be east of the divide. And that's the case. So for basically Wednesday through Sunday, mountain areas, Areas east of the divide, thunder in the afternoon and evenings, west of the divide, warmer, drier, more like summer. But for, for the first half of June, this part of the nation here usually kind of goes through a dry spell before we get to end of June and July, before the monsoon moisture starts to work its way out of Mexico and Central America, as we've discussed before, and something we'll keep an eye on in the days and the weeks ahead. Long term, by the middle of next week, we have another trough coming in off the West Coast. Now, we're getting deep into June here. Um, not 100% sure it'll be this strong, but if this system does come in by the middle of next week, it's going to keep the nation from really going full bore summer. It's going to delay it another week and will push what could be cool, wet weather into the Northern Plains, Northern Rockies, parts of the Pacific Northwest, and eventually into the Great Lakes for the third week of June. We'll have to see if this develops, but if it does, it'll be interesting because that's gonna delay the onset of a more, let's say, static summer pattern getting formed. We'll keep an eye on it in the days ahead. Have yourself a great Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.